All right, we're gonna do one more before my stomach growls at me and I must go home and eat some supper. And then we have a missions conference tonight, so I'll be back over here for church tonight. So one more video here on page 15, 16, and then I'll set it up to upload. Um, wow, all right, let, let me give you a tip here. For the rest of this pace, do not try to do this last thing at night before you go to bed. And if you are the kind who your brain is fuzzy first thing in the morning, don't try to do it first thing in the morning until you've had some coffee and your brain is sharp and you are at your best, okay? Because there's um, this, this, is, this is kind of taxing to the old brain. All right, here we go. In some ways, it's, it's not hard, too hard. It's, it's a matter of following a template and just identifying the patterns, extracting the numbers that we need, and then we can use that to graph. And they only give you two homework problems. Okay, so it's not too bad, but it's not a lot of practice either. And then all of a sudden, it's gonna be on a checkup and self-test and pace test. Ah! So let's do, um, I took this problem here, which, which is in your homework, but we're just going to show you how to set it up, okay? Um, and looking back at page 15, there are four types of parabolas. So I'm looking at this template here that they gave us, this problem. They, I noticed that they have the Y on the left in the squared term. And then we have something over here, and then we have the X. So of these four, it looks like it could be the first one, number one, or it could be number two. But see how on number three and number four, the X and the Y are the opposite. So it's not gonna be those two. And then looking at these, this one has a negative in front of the eight. So I'm thinking that is pattern number two here, okay? So that's why over here I wrote down pattern two, and then I copied this information right here from page 15. Now one more reminder here, please, to your supervisor, your parent, at the bottom of the page it says this contains information you need to memorize for the checkup, self-test, and test. I, I, that is not that is not wise. That's not practical. That is adding quite an extensive workload. If you're going to be an engineer someday, even then you're not going to you're not going to have this memorized. Okay, you would always refer to a chart. You're going to look it up. Um, please, that that is not that is not practical. The hard part here is hard enough just trying to extract the information and figure out what A is, figure out what K is, figure out what H is. Okay. Let's try it. <clears throat> Looking at the pattern here, y minus four, and I'm looking at pattern two here, y minus k. Ah, so that tells me that k must equal positive four, okay? That matches up exactly. Now when I come over here, I'm trying to figure out what h is. H is X minus H, and here I have X plus three. So remember, it's like X minus what? So for this to equal X plus three, I must have to plug in negative three for H. All right, so those are two important numbers. Now I also need to figure out what A is. It says four times A, and over here I have eight. So 4a must equal 8. All right, so we're just matching up the pattern. So in this pattern, I have the negative, I have the negative, I have 4a has to equal the 8. And so that means a must be 2. Okay, sometimes you'll get a fraction for that, but in this case, it works out to be a whole number. Yay! <clears throat> and now let's uh, look at our patterns here. I'm not going to write this down for you. This first one's easy. The vertex is H comma K. So we're going to first take the H value comma the K value, put parentheses around it, and that will be the vertex. Let's find what the directrix is. The directrix, it says, is X equals H plus A. Well, H 
plus a is going to equal the x. h is negative 3, a is 2. So that must mean that the directrix is going to equal the line x equals negative 1. Okay? <clears throat> the focus, it says, is H minus A. Um, so H is negative 3, and now we're going to minus the A, so minus 2, comma, and then we plug in the K value, which is the 4. Well, negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. All right, so now I have the focus. This is the directrix. Uh, from here, we can figure out what the, what the vertex is. And then the lattice rectum would be 4 times A, which is 2. So a distance of 8. And then it tells us that the shape is going to look like this. All right, so just like you were doing on page uh, 14, they give you the graph. And uh, so now we have a different line to plug in as the directrix and the vertex. The focus point, find the lattice rectum is 8, so 4 above and 4 below. And then sketch the graph and it should be opening here to the left. So it's just a matter of following the template, these little formulas that they give you there on the page and figuring out all of these numbers. The math is not hard. Uh, and then the last step is just to uh, put it on the graph paper. Two problems, that's it. And then check your work and make sure you have that correct before you move on. Um, I'm not gonna have time today to do a video for the next lesson. It's a doozy though. And then soon after that, uh, we have move into ellipses and hyperbolas and then you have a checkup coming up and oh my goodness. All right, so we will get back to this, um, but just not, not tonight. Good luck.